Here I'm going to show you how to run a macro when a button is clicked here in the worksheet. So here I have a sample button, click it, and there we go, you clicked me. Just a nice simple little macro. So let's make this guy work. I'm going to go ahead and remove it and start from scratch. First up, just get your button in the worksheet. I'm going to go with a very basic insert. Illustrations is what it's now called. And then we're going to go to shapes. You can pretty much choose anything here, by the way. If you want pictures, you want icons. I'm going to go with shapes to make just a nice little button and go with the rounded rectangle or rectangle rounded corners, as it's called here. This one is pretty easy to make so that it fits in with whatever your scheme is, your design. And so you just put it in right there, write whatever you want, just a little bit of formatting to make it a little easier to read and bold. There we go. Now we have a nice, beautiful button. Click away from the button and we're ready to attach a macro to it. All you have to do, it is so, so, so easy. Right click, go to assign macro and choose the macro from this window. That is it. So I click the macro, my macro. I hit OK. I click away from the button and now I can click it and I get the macro that runs. You clicked me. Now, what if you want to change it or remove the macro assignment? Just right click and you can go back to assign macro and hit delete, hit OK. And now we're going to have a normal button again. And the other thing that comes up is how to use the button. So edit it, not just click it, if you have a macro assigned to it. Because right now when I click away, I don't get the resize things. Anytime I click the button, I'm going to get the macro to run. Well, you just right click the button and then you're going to get the little resize arrows and everything you want. Now I can click away anywhere in the worksheet and it will still stay like that. So I can resize it, update it, make it however I want. And like I said, you can attach macros to most things that you can click. When in doubt, just right click the thing and then look for assign macro. And if you see that, then you can assign the macro. Select it and that's all there is to it.